What up, YouTube? It's your boy Martin the 707 back again with another video. Guys, I'm sorry it's been a long time. It's been a long minute since I've been recording. Um, you know, you know, just doing my daily tasks, man. And um, most importantly, uh, just work, man. It's just been um, work is, you know, the, the workload has been different lately. So I've been getting, getting that situated. And, uh, you know, uh, working on other things as well, man, and just taking it one day at a time, man, and just focus on what I can focus on and um, being the best that I can be. Sorry if my setup, if it keeps wiggling back and forth, I'm going to try my best to keep it steady. Uh, let's turn on the air. It's kind of cool where I'm at right now. I mean, it's kind of warm where I'm at right now. The temperature's going to change anyway, but um, I want to discuss. I've been getting a lot of comments, guys. Uh, I know a lot of y'all been commenting on my videos as far as the credit, as uh, far as what type of credit you need, how much money you need for these Hellcats. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Don't go and put a lot of money. If you got, I'm put it like this. Listen to me, guys. Listen to me. You can listen, whatever, whoever YouTube you want to listen to. But listen to this. I'm, 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 I'm giving you straight up. If you got over five thousand dollars to put down and you're willing to put down 5,000 plus for a Hellcat or GTR, whatever it is guys that you wanna, whatever it is that you guys wanna uh, accomplish and wanna have one day. If you got over 5,000 and you don't have any investments, like in investments going on at the moment right now, go get you an investment. And what that means is, what I what I mean by that is, is if you got about 12, 15,000 dollars to play with, Wherever you at, wherever you got connections at, you got family at, um, go search for a rental property. Go search for a property. Go search for stocks. Go search for uh, places, things like that, that's going to bring you more money in so you can pay for that Hellcat. So um, I had one commenter, um, he's willing to put down 20 bands for his Hellcat. That's a lot of money. I'm going to be honest. Um, like I told you guys, I was about to buy a track haul. I was gonna get a track haul and add it to the car that I have now. And I thought about it and I was just like, man, if I buy a track haul, um, it's not bringing me no money. And I will be spending probably $1,200 plus a month just putting money out there and not bringing no money in. And plus this car note as well, I'm not bringing no money in. I'm not getting, you know, I'm not to the point where I'm bringing in a certain amount of money yet. But you know, it's, 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 you know, it's different. You know, um, it's, I went ahead and put the money towards a rental property. I bought a house and fixed that up and got money coming in from that. Uh, you know, you got to have money, you know, you got to learn how to budget your money for us, putting money to a side and know what you're going to market your price at, know which areas are hot and or not. You know, the real estate market right now is booming. It's, it's, it's out of this world. Uh, it's out of this world right now. And, um, you know, you just got to know where to look and, you know, places like it. You got to know where to look at during these times like it. And, um, that's the only thing I can probably advise you guys, man, as far as don't put down on, don't sit there and, um, I mean, if you just want to, I'm not saying that you don't, you don't have to reason why I say that is because nine out of 10, you're probably going to buy a marked up Hellcat. Reason why I say that is because dealerships are adding 10, 10,000 plus to these Hellcats, red eyes. Like I told you guys, I'll order a red eye. I actually order a red eye, which is crazy. And um, me and the dealers, we've been trying to work out uh, numbers. All right, so it's no, I'm like I said, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I ordered my red eye as with no sunroof, because that's what I could afford. Uh, You know, um, I 
only thing is, if I finance the hell, I mean my red eye, I have to finance it for 96 months, and my payments is 960. I'm being, I'm being real with you guys. I'm not gonna see a lot of you guys saying that I put this and put that down. No, I'm gonna be honest. I was trading them my Hellcat now, which has, which was they gonna give me seven thousand in equity. Then mind you, seven thousand. They're gonna give me seven thousand extra for this car. So they're gonna give it up. I bought, I got like sixty five left, and they're gonna mark it up to seventy two. Uh, I mean, which they're gonna bring it up to like seventy two or whatever, so like about seven thousand. And what they're gonna do, and then on top of that, red eyes have rebate. They don't have any, any senators like more like 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 the red I'm like the Hellcat does, and they was gonna give me three thousand added on top of that. So so that's ten thousand right there. I'm looking at putting you know it's going towards my red eye, which was making my payments nine sixty a month. I can afford it without a problem. That's not that's not the issue. My issue is ninety six months. I don't want a car for ninety six months because I don't think I keep a car for ninety six months. You know, me, I, I like to get in and out of cars, you know what I'm saying? No matter if I finance them or not, you know, uh, my last two vehicles was, you know, I financed those, I didn't keep those, you know what I'm saying? That's just me. And you know, it, it teaches on, each each and everybody is different. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what you should do, but I'm just trying to give you game, you know, let you know things I wish I knew before getting my Hellcat, you know, um, Instead, you know, this is what, you know, I built my red eye on what I can do. And I'm going to drop you pictures of my red eye. And I have no, like I tell you guys, I have no reasons to lie to you guys. I built it from scratch, from from design, the color, everything. It's bad. I'm not going to lie. It's in North Carolina at Joe Myers. Um, I'm telling you, it's a bad red eye, guys. I'm telling you, it's a bad one, man. It, it, it's got the Laguna seats. Uh, only thing is, just don't have the sunroof. It's a cinnamon color with a pink bumper guard. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna just drop pictures in here to let you know I'm not playing. Um, and you know, the dealership, they, they've been really working with me. He wants me to come and get it real bad, you know. But I was like, I don't want to finance ninety six thousand. You know, I'm trying to do. I'm actually trying. I'm in the process of trying to do something else. And by me financing ninety six thousand. Before I'm trying to get another asset, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do something else. So, therefore, if I get that other asset, that asset pays for my red eye. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, my rental property can pay for my Hellcat right now. You know, I'm just being straight up. It can pay for my Hellcat. Um, but you know, I just right now I'm just I'm, I'm you know just saving the money right now. Just saving the money. And right now, my Hellcat, my red eye that I built. And when you build these Hellcats, guys, it's not going to the dealer. It's not going online and saying that you build it. No, you're working with a dealer that knows that you're serious about, you know, about getting it. You know, I went through the process of picking out my pay, picking out everything and being on the phone with these guys, working out my numbers. Now, only thing is what stopped me was from getting my red. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was going to lease my red eye. There's no shame in my game. I'm going to be honest with you guys. There's no shame in my game. I ain't got no reason to lie to you guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, There's no shame in my game. Because no matter if you lease or finances, whatever it is, you still got to make your payments. But you got you to gotta have the money to make those payments. Them payments are not cheap. So the time, the time I built my red eye, Dodge had a lease special on the red eyes at the time. And... They had like it, it wasn't like the best deal of the red eye, you know, red eye lease special, but it was a special going, you know, going for the red eyes. And I was trying to get that. By the time I it took three months. And you know, if you know when you build a car out, you know the US custom, they gonna send you an email, send you a VIN number, they're gonna send you everything, you know, straight up. That I got all that. And um when they did it, um when my car got here, everything was taken offline, and I didn't want to finance ninety six thousand. And uh, damn, missed my turn. Uh, I didn't want to finance ninety six thousand, which I could have and easily got the car, but it wasn't no point on my end, you know. Uh, 
I didn't want no car, 96,000, and I didn't want no loan on my account for 96,000 because it's gonna stop me from getting a, getting more stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, approved for more stuff that I wanna get. And you know, um, right now it's not the smartest move for me right now, you know what I'm saying? It could be the smartest move for you, you know what I'm saying? You can definitely do it. And so if you're looking for a red eye, my red eye's up there for sale. Um, it's a cinnamon, with Laguna Sea, it doesn't have a sunroof, guys. It doesn't have a sunroof. Um, I recently, he just recently hit me up. Uh, one of the reps, name is Pierre. He's a good guy, man. He's been working with me. He recently hit me up. He said, Lamar, before I get ready to send it out there and post it online, you sure you don't want this car? And I told him, I said, man, just go ahead, man. I'm, I'm sure I don't want it, man. You know, I'm cool with what I have. You know, uh, it's been cool to have a red eye, but. I, I wanted to lease mine, and right now they don't have lease right now going on. The lease is actually more expensive. So with that being said, if you're going to go buy a Hellcat, guys, lease your Hellcat, man. Lease them first, man. So you can see what you're getting yourself into first. You know, you can see what you're getting into, and then you just go from there to see if you really want a Hellcat. You know, um, guys, I'm telling you, man, it's. Uh, I mean, it's just, I'm being real with you guys. I'm being straight up real with you guys. I'm letting you guys know the honest truth on these cars. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, if you have any questions, concerns, man, hit me up. I'm going to be real with you guys, man. I want you guys to win. I want you guys to accomplish your, your dreams. I was once you looking at YouTube saying, man, I can't wait till I get me a Hellcat. And I finally got me one. Shit, I'm on my second one. You know what I'm saying? So you can actually get these cars, guys. It's not as hard as you think it is. Like I said, I only put two... 2000 down on my Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's all about your credit, guys. It's about putting yourself in position to get good credit. Having good credit makes you in charge of getting your deals. You know what I'm saying? It makes you in charge. So you get you get in charge. You tell the dealership what you're comfortable paying. And then you kind of, you know, see what your interest rates are. And you just go from there, guys. Remember, you got to take your time and and do your do your do your homework on these cars guys um and find one that's under the at, at the sticker price um and don't try not to find one that's over sticker price because they're gonna try to tax you that's gonna make your note jump up each thousand is twenty dollars compared to twenty dollars so so each thousand that you put down knocks down twenty dollars off your note so you add that up so you put five thousand down five thousand dollars down that only knocks down hundred dollars so you know you just add it up and just you know be mindful of what you're doing um like i said guys if you got any questions concerns man let me know guys um because i want to help you guys i want to you know show you guys you know i'm being honest with you guys i'm working my way to get to where i want to get at in life and i'm taking steps and you know it's not easy you know what i'm saying it's um it comes with learning curves you learn and you just keep going from there you know um I mean, this is the realest I can get with you guys. I'm being honest with you guys. I ain't sugarcoating it. Um, sometimes I forget that I have, you know, I, I, you know, uh, I, uh, a rental property now, and it's so crazy that at first I was working so hard on it, and I finally got it up and running, got everything going, and got somebody in there. And now you just, you know, of course you invest in, if you're into crypto, stocks, mutual funds, whatever, NFTs, whatever it is that you're into, like I'm into that stuff. Like I'm not into crypto. It's cool. I'm not heavy into it. Like, you know, most people are, but I know about it. Um, yeah, I do my regular stocks and stuff like that. You know, put your money in, you know, and just you in it for the long run, not the short run. I always remember that guys. Um, but then again, man, just take your time. Get with people that's that's willing to educate you and help you out and push you to the next level, guys. And, you know, um, I don't have a big homie or big brother that I can go to and learn about these things. Uh, learn about I'm learning these things by myself, by my credit, about buying property, by investing. I'm learning these things myself and I'm, I'm having trial and error going from, you know, learning from this. And I'm teaching you guys, showing you guys the steps. And that's just a straight up truth, man. And, um, you know, you just go from there, guys. You know, make sure you get affordable insurance when you get these cars, guys. I'm telling you, because you don't want to get a car and it's gone like that. You know, my insurance for my Hellcat right now is 80, was it 86 bucks? 
86 bucks and that's full coverage that's five hundred dollar co collision and um uh what's the other one i don't i forgot but you know it's five hundred dollar deductible put it like that and um you know you get you something you're comfortable paying with guys and you just go from there man it just you know it's just about being real with you guys and showing you that man this shit is possible you can get this shit in life whatever it is that you want in life you can get it you just gotta go after it you just gotta push yourself show that man if god if, if god sees that you're trying he's gonna meet you halfway he's gonna take you to he's gonna take you above and beyond guys i'm telling you man don't worry about what people say and what negative people say and what people think you should do and what you shouldn't do. God put those dreams in your heart for a reason. So go after them and remember, anything's possible.